Hello there guys and welcome to our 38 C++ tutorials. Today tutorial we're going to continue with maps and we're going to do a little bit of a more advanced tutorial. As you see we already have some code in the screen and this is basically our previous tutorial which is tutorial 37. So if you haven't watched that guys go ahead and watch that and make sure you have everything and then let's go ahead and get started. In today's tutorial basically we're going to learn how to insert items in our directory here. So insert new um, individuals with phone numbers and basically check that they were actually uh, inputted or entered in the directory and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel or viewed all my other videos and left comments uh, or le and also leave comments and rate the videos guys gives me a lot of feedback so and also thank you for watching this tutorial so let's waste no more time let's make this short tutorial and let's go ahead and get started so first here let's also define I'm gonna call this input name and then I'm going to call another one search name and I'm going to also put phone number so I, I basically put two more variables alright here I will ask the user to enter somebody's name that he wants to input in the, in the directory so let me put here input name I'm going to store that in the input name next let's have a C out here and then ask the user to uh, enter the phone number Whoa, phone number and let's get the phone number and let's store that in the uh, basically phone number which would be the variable we declared up there okay next all we want to do is we want to store those inputs in the directory so to do that we type directory and then insert and then insert with type pair then we specify the data types we had which is string string those are, those are going to be our inputs, they are going to be string types and then we specify the two inputs we have which is input name we want, that's going to be our key which is going to be stored just up here, just like up here it's going to be like John or, 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 the, or the person's name and then we want to have the phone number so we type phone number and then we close that so that, that will be stored in our directory then let's type another cout statement here and that and then ask the users search for so user will, will enter the person he, he would like to search for and then see in and let's store that in name let's store that in let's change the search name to name here just because we had the reason for that is just because we had a name from our previous tutorial, just so we don't have to re rewrite this and switch all the names with search names from our previous tutorial. All right, so let's go over our code very quickly here. So what we did is we declared two new string variables: the str uh, input name um, and also the phone number, where, where we wanted to store the new uh, name and phone number that we want to input in our directory. And we got those inputs here. We asked the user to enter them, and then we, we basically store them in, in those two variables one in the input name, one in the phone number name down here and then we also and then we with, with the directory insert which and then we specify the types the, the data types which were strings and then we told them that we want to store the input the input name would be our key here which is like the name and then uh, which is like Bob, Mike and John and so on and also the phone number which would correspond to this particular name and we want to this to be stored in our, di in our directory or our map we defined up here and then down here we're basically doing the same thing from as a previous tutorial we're basically uh, asking the user the name he wants to search for so the reason we're doing this is because we want to check that we was this name actually entered in the directory or not so once this name is entered we're going to search for this particular name that we just entered in the directory and make sure if if it is in there or if it's not in there so if it was stored there or not so let's rebuild the solution or build it actually build the solution the same thing and let's go ahead and start with our debugging. So let me enter a new name here. As let me call it Joseph. And let's give him a phone number like two six nine blah 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 blah. All right. And now he's asking us search for who. And let me type Joseph. So if Joseph does exist, or it was basically stored in our directory, we should see this line printed out right here. His name the phone number and print his phone number print out the phone number that we just entered and we do see that we see Joseph phone number is 
269-978-9658. Alright guys, so this was a short tutorial on how to basically insert um, insert items um, into our into our maps, inside our maps or directory in this case. So thank you for watching this tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed it and please rate the videos, leave comments with any suggestions or concerns you guys have. That truly gives me a lot of feedback. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already guys, please do that as well. And thank you for watching this tutorial guys. And we'll be back with a lot more. So thank you for watching.